And how has it gone? How, so how? Um, so what have been the, the adventures in this? It seems perfectly logical. We're interdependent. We really don't do well as a species with what one another, right? Um, I'm the mother of a son. I have a father I love, many male colleagues. I don't do so well without them, and I'd like to think that some of them don't do so well without me. And not only in the traditional roles. I co-founded a company with a man. He happened to be politically my opposite and gender-wise my opposite. But we built a company, and it did well. So I'm... I think I'm convinced, but there's times I kind of feel like I may be the odd duck. So how did it go? How, how, how has it gone? What has been the evolution of your theories, and how have you seen them play out? Well, first of all, I've done a lot of my uh, teaching and uh, cultural change work by writing. Mm -hmm. The Chalice and Blade is now in 25 foreign languages, and it is coming out this year in Turkish. Mm. It's just acquired by Turkish Wonderful. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, my other books um, are also all drawing from this study. Right. They're also all still in print. Mm -hmm. um, one of my later books has been The Real Wealth of Nations, mm -hmm. Creating a Caring Economy. Mm -hmm. I also... Which, if I can just interrupt for a moment, what I thought was remarkable about Wealth of Nations was you, you were endorsed not by one side or the other, but by all sides. So Peter Sengi, um, as well as uh, Gloria Steinem, as well as Desmond Tutu. And so there's this broad cross-sector buy-in to your theories and belief and, and really more than buy-in. Yeah. Well, more. it's enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you see, look, I mean, I first of all, you said you have a son. I have grandsons and I'm also married to a wonderful, caring man. So this is not a question of women against men or men against women. It's a question of domination systems mm -hmm. and of gender stereotypes. Mm -hmm. um, the receptivity, as you say, to my work really uh, transcends the conventional categories. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't claim that I've managed to do what I want, which is to change the world. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, uh, we are, uh, for example, Today, uh, at the University of Minnesota, we launched a new interdisciplinary journal of partnership studies, mm -hmm. uh, which is a really, we invite not only academics, mm -hmm. uh, but also practitioners and activists to really bring this body of knowledge together. Mm -hmm. uh, we need new words, a new lexicon, mm -hmm. We need new thinking, and words are traps. I mean, consider the categories of matriarchy and patriarchy. Mm -hmm. They're really two sides of the domination coin, aren't they? Mm -hmm. So the partnership system and the domination mm -hmm. system are really new vocabulary. Mm -hmm. So is caring economy. Mm -hmm. So are hierarchies of domination as contrasted to what there are in partnership systems, mm -hmm. which are hierarchies of actualization. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Power is not that. Right, right, right. Power is important in actualization, in self-actualization and in social actualization. Absolutely, actualization. but in domination systems, power is the, braid, the right. blade in terms of the title of the right. chalice and the blade. Right. In the partnership system, it's more the chalice, the power not to take and control mm -hmm. and uh, you know, but mm -hmm. but or to dominate, but the power to give, nurture, and eliminate, them. which is critical, and yet it can um, it can be absent of some of that action of the blade of that need to um, you know to take immediate action because in a chalice society or situation we want to be more measured, which is wonderful, and there's moments when measured doesn't quite isn't quick enough or, or something. So it, it's a real challenge. But um, wait, wait, wait. Go I ahead. have to stop you there. You're going to stop me. Because we don't need the blade for action. Mm. Okay. Uh, we can take action, and we do all the time, uh, without the blade. In fact, when we take action with the blade, we really are not solving problems. We're creating problems. Mm -hmm. So if you're talking about quick action, uh, yes, and that's why I make a distinction between hierarchies of domination and hierarchies of actualization. 
you can use empowering power, which is the power of the chalice, much more effectively than disempowering power, which is the power of the blade. Okay. And it can be just as quick. That doesn't mean we well, need Well, and it tends to be more need. sustained, am I right? So that empowered power tends to be more sustained. You see people like Bill George, the former um, CEO of Medtronic, and he's now at Harvard, um, a businessman talking about the importance of, I think he would probably use the word chalice type leadership in organizations. Well, the kind of part that's thing. part of the movement towards the partnership started as a continuum. No society is a pure partnership or domination system. But just reading the management literature, mm -hmm. that the manager should no longer be the cop or controller in you know, the domination mm -hmm. uh, manager, but somebody who inspires, mm -hmm. uh, facilitates, and empowers rather than disempowers. That, and that can be very quick, that kind of action. Mm -hmm. So we don't really need the blade, except to cut bread. 